all good evening everyone well uh, uh first of all let me thank you for holding this event it's a very valuable event that we all get used to uh i shall start with uh, directly with my presentation which talks about a transportation project we did with uh, the exclusive uh, taxi operator of the baghdad international airport I will go through the challenges and what solutions we implemented and what have we achieved out of this project. <laughs> now, to give you an idea about our company, it was established in, uh, its name is Integrated Solution, established in 2012, soon we had another three branches. Uh, we cover currently more than 1,000 uh, customers, uh, uh, we have uh, more than 60 staffs. We work on different uh, sectors, but the major ones are oil, gas, transportation, FMCG distribution. Uh, <clears throat> we are specialized in mainly in fleet management solutions. However, we do security solutions on a smaller scale, and we do custom development uh, for web, desktop, and mobile applications. We do have 13 international local and local uh, business partners. Uh, to give you some information about the project we did, <laughs> the operator name was called uh, Taxi Baghdad. Uh, this operator uh, is the only uh, the only operator who can allow passenger who can transport passengers to and from the airport. You know the situation in Iraq uh, from 2003 onwards. Uh, the security situation was uh, highly unstable. So there were uh, very high security measures taken in the uh, airport zone where uh, you know only authorized vehicles are allowed, allowed to enter in the airport. Uh, <clears throat> so for that, the government had to uh, you know uh, appoint uh, you know a taxi operator who can who can uh, 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 who can uh, drop and pick up passengers from their home to the airport <coughs> and uh, this operator has uh, has to meet all the security measures enforced by the uh, by the government and uh, G4S which is the security company uh, controlling the situation in the airport the project is uh, around 500 taxi vehicles uh, they have more than 1000 drivers and they do currently more than 4,500 trip per day. The project is located in uh, Iraq, Baghdad, and it started on October 2017 and continued for two months. Well, uh, as I mentioned, uh, Private vehicles are not allowed to enter in the airport. There were, uh, you know, a, a special taxi operator was appointed for this uh, requirement. Uh, the place is uh, very highly secured, so any vehicle ha uh, entering the airport zone will have to go through five different checkpoints. And when we say checkpoints, you know, they inspect everything uh, <clears throat> inside the car. Uh, they inspect the passengers, the luggages, they go through uh, sonar devices, they go through manual checks, plus the, uh, you know, the dog checks, they have even trained dogs smelling everything around. So these are the, uh, you know, the environment surrounding that project. The dependency is very high because uh, Baghdad International Airport serves around 80% of the total of flights in the country. Uh, the operations will have to be 24 by 7, no stop time. Uh, <coughs> the uh, the uh, secure zone around the airport is located around 15 kilometers away from the airport. This way they can ensure that, uh, you know, they have enough uh, security measures so that no one can enter that zone and make any problems. So you always have a, a gate, a uh, gate, uh, in the uh, entrance of that zone and then the passengers reach that gate and then they pick up a taxi and, and go inside the uh, uh, inside the airport. 
One of the challenges uh, we had is the experience. The operator had no previous experience with the taxi operations. At the same time, there were no similar operations in the country. So it was very challenging to know that uh, we are going to work on a project. Uh, operationally, we don't know the whereabouts. <coughs> now, uh, what were the challenges before the project started? Uh, the operational challenges were that uh, the operator had all the vehicles ready and waiting all the time, which was costing a huge fortune. You know, he kept his 500 vehicles in the parking area. He pays a huge amount for that. And uh, depending on the load, on the demand, he operates the vehicles. Uh, there were no uh, HR procedures and policies in place. Uh, the customers were hardly dissatisfied. <coughs> Why? Because many of the customers have missed their flights due to uh, lack of control in that uh, process. You know, either that the taxi reaches late or he never reaches or, uh, you know, he reaches too early. You know, the most of the customers were unhappy with the services provided. Uh, at the same time, many of the employees are dissatisfied. Why? Because there were when we when we saw the project first, uh, we saw two groups of employees. One is those who work really hard but not rewarded for their uh, uh, hard work, and the other group uh, who were taking the advantage of the chaos happening there and making uh, money for their <coughs> their own interest. And finally, we had uh, they had recorded at that time around two to three daily incidents. Uh, those incidents uh, varying from major ones like a car crash or small ones like uh, uh, speed over limits. <coughs> uh, some of the technical issues we had, and one of the major ones is the mismatches between the accounting system numbers and the manual book numbers. So they had a manual book in which they record uh, every trip going and coming and they have an accounting system uh, who, uh, where they enter those manual books. When we checked, there were huge differences and people were making benefits out of these differences. Some many trips were not recorded in the system and the drivers took advantage of this. Another uh, challenge they had is the uh, attendance machine reachability. Uh, what happens there, they have 1,000 plus employees, they reach at the same time. Uh, they, they have provided around 10 uh, attendance machines, but still they have to stand in queue. Some of them, they have to wait for more than half an hour uh, to just to punch their fingers. Uh, they had a high communication cost around 3.5 thousand per month. You know, they had to call every driver. Where are you? Why are you late? The customer is waiting for you, you know, all kind of calls. So they had, we had uh, collected their bills and <clears throat> it summed up to 3.5K uh, per month. Now, in spite of the high demand, because as I said, this is the only airport in the capital and it covers 80% of the country flights. Despite of the high demand, they were recording hardly five trips per vehicles per day. So this, this uh, number looks very odd and, and very less compared to the uh, number of uh, passengers there, given the fact that every passenger enters the airport or comes out of the airport has to go through this operator, I mean Taxi Baghdad. They also had a high maintenance cost. Overall for the thousand vehicle, they have uh, an average like 110K per month. And they have the, a, a huge uh, fuel consumption <coughs> compared to the traveled distance. So these were the uh, key challenges faced by the operator and by us when we saw the project. So what solutions we implemented? Now, uh, why we selected this project to present? Because this is one, one of the uh, projects where we implemented all our knowledge. We implemented Wylan as a system, we implemented the GPS tracking, we implemented uh, most kind of uh, sensors, uh, we have done integrations, uh, we have even uh, took a step and, and uh, run some of the operations ourselves, we have done consultation business. 
So it's a larger scale project where we covered everything. So what we did there, we did the process re-engineering, uh, we implemented Wylan, uh, <coughs> we installed various type of uh, sensors, we did the, we still doing actually the uh, operations monitoring, and we implemented a uh, certain kind of uh, quality control. The first thing we did is we divided the uh, sh uh, the drivers into three shifts to cover uh, 24 hours a day. So that's eight hour per shift. And we implemented a penalty and uh, a reward system for the driver, uh, taking the help of uh, a RAG report, which we developed based on Gartam, based on uh, wireland data. Uh, <coughs> We were involved in the driver recruitment process, uh, uh, like uh, uh, doing the extensive background check, uh, the driving tests. You know, these are things are not uh, technical, but but we were supposed to involve to make the project succeed. Uh, we also implemented quality assurance uh, procedures there. Uh, what kind of control measures we did there? Uh, we had out of shift notification. So if someone is operating uh, outside his uh, period, then uh, we get alarm. We had over speeding control, which was a major issue there. Uh, we binded the drivers to the vehicle through the I button and immobilizer. So uh, we had increased accountability. Not every driver can drive every vehicle. Uh, the, we canceled their attendance system. The attendance for the drivers is taken from Wireland directly. Uh, of course, there were route optimization monitoring. I mean, the driver takes the right way so that he spends the less time and he reaches this place uh, as fast as possible. Uh, we have monitoring unplanned parking. So the driver is not allowed uh, to stop everywhere or anywhere. He stops only at the passenger place and on the uh, allowed places in the uh, green zone of the airport. We read the engine temperature. We uh, <coughs> we had uh, built a notification system for the regular maintenance. Uh, <coughs> we installed fuel sensors for the uh, uh, large vehicles. And uh, we read the fuel meters from the LV can for the small ones. Uh, overall, this gives us uh, uh, the optimum st uh, vehicle usage control. Uh, we had uh, built seat built uh, <coughs> seat built sensors, and these were uh, you know built uh, customized. We 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 made them uh, manually. Uh, the AC and heating uh, sensors also were made manually and installed. So there are uh, essential things here, and there are good to have ones. Uh, but uh, eventually, all these points had led to the success of the project. Uh, as far as the accounting system and the attendance system, we had uh, done a huge integration between uh, Wyland SDK, Wyland reports, and uh, their accounting system. We translated every trip of the drivers uh, into a transaction, then it comes automatically to the accounting system, and then it's compared with the uh, transaction entered in the system. So there is no there is no way that uh, you can find a trip without uh, an accounting entry. Uh, as I mentioned, also the attendance of the drivers were cancelled, and we took the data from Wireland directly. We pushed it into the payroll system. So we, we saved huge efforts and time on that uh, area. And finally, what did we achieve out of this project? Now, we achieved many things, but these are the top five points. Uh, we have improved the uh, safety compliance, reduced the number of incidents from two to three on daily basis to five incidents on monthly basis. And all are monitored correctly. So that was a, a great benefit to both the, the passengers and to the operator. Uh, the, we have doubled the business. Actually, what happened, uh, if you remember, I mentioned they had very low number of trips, around five trips per day. 
when we implemented the system and slowly started to monitor monitor the trips and started uh, uh, you know asking the drivers uh, uh, you went several uh, times but the, your trips are not recorded so they 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 started working in a proper way the number has increased from 5 to 10 on average daily so you can imagine you know the the numbers the number has got doubled uh, the, we did customer survey, we did employee survey, and we got really good promising results from these surveys. So the satisfaction level has highly increased. The uh, communication cost has got decreased by 2.5 thousand on monthly basis. And uh, the, their maintenance cost also got decreased around 35% uh, from 100,000 uh, USD dollars to 70,000 US, 70, USD dollars per month. And that's thanks to the uh, monitoring uh, system for the maintenance uh, notification system. Yeah, I'm done here. If you have any question. Thank you very much, uh, Saif. Uh, impressive numbers, I should say, uh, for the customer. Uh, and it's always a pleasure to see such uh, advanced uh, projects and solutions uh, implemented by integrated solutions. Uh, we have just a few questions uh, from the audience. Um, what is the difference between this project and uh, any other taxi projects? And also, how did this project contribute to the society's benefit? Well, uh, coming to the first question, uh, what's the difference? Uh, the difference is uh, that the passenger doesn't have choices. The passenger has taxi Baghdad to reach to the airport and to exit from the airport. Unlike any other airport in the uh, in any other country, you can you can go in your own car. You can go. You can select any or any other operator. So uh, the passengers have to come through this uh, operator, and this is a big difference. And here also, the timing is very crucial. Because of the security, the multiple security checks uh, at the entrance of airport green zone, passengers will have to go through so many checkpoints, their luggages, the, the vehicles itself. So uh, the time is a very crucial factor. Uh, in any other uh, country, uh, you can enter the airport directly without any inspection. Unlike here, it takes around one and a half an hour uh, to inspect uh, the passengers and the driver and the vehicle and the luggage multiple times. And uh, uh, coming to the second question, how did this contribute to the society benefit? Well, uh, the operator, Taxi Baghdad, was obliged by the government to have certain level of margin, and that should not be increased. So he is working on cost plus module. Now, when we saw when the financial numbers came after a period of time, we saw the overall cost got reduced. He had to re reduce the uh, the transportation fees equally so that he stays to the margin limit of the uh, that, that was specified by the government. Besides, the passengers were able to catch up with their flight, of course, on time and safely, unlike earlier. And uh, drivers' work are well organized, hence more break time and more days off for them earlier they had to stay and wait for the job to come now they are they know who has to work when and for how many hours so the overall work was uh, majorly improved thank you thank you Saif uh, impressive use case indeed um, we wish you to have a really good evening goodbye bye, thank Saif. you bye bye